Hello everybody, it is time for our first playoff run as a Colorado Avalanche netminder. And this time, I will tend the goal. Maybe. Also, yes, the beard has been trimmed down quite a bit, as you can see. But do not fear, for it will grow back. To put it into perspective of just how early I record these, playoffs haven't started yet. In fact, today is the last day of the regular season in the NHL. And here we go. The Colorado Avalanche lineup consists of Gabriel Landeskog playing with Newhook and Turbo, who went off this season, which is good to see. We got Hartman, Kopp, and Duclair as our second line. Third line, we got Rory with all those abilities, but I'm fine with it. Nemesnikov, Milano. So our team is, you know, good. Do we have a Connor McDavid? No, but that's all right. We have the depth and we're solid. Defensively, we have Ferraro playing with Fabro, Damon, and Travis, and then Bowen on the final pair, which I don't know how I feel about that. But anyways, playing with Shawnee Boy. And in net, yours truly, Timothy Jimothy, backed up by Mike Murphy. We are sticking to the third period format because of how things went last time around. Let's get into it. TJ's very first playoff game with the Avalanche. And it's a big one. We're going up against the St. Louis Blues. I feel like this is sort of like a classic matchup for some reason. Colorado, St. Louis. But anyway, here we go. First period. That's fine. We take that. Second period, 2-1. So we have a little bit of ground to gain. Let's do it. We also apparently have a challenge from our head coach to win the first two playoff games. You know, as easy as that is. How about you leave me alone? All right, this could be huge. Power play to start the third. Down by one. If we score a goal here... It's all tied up and the momentum is in our favor in the last one. He had one job, Turbo. Literally one job. See, the game is taking forever to sink because it just can't believe what a stupid play that was by Turbo. Or I could also just alternatively do that and fix it, but you know. And now we have some four on four action for the foreseeable future. Let's go, Avs. Two twos in the zone. Tries to sneak around the defenseman, but Sergachev absolutely not allowing that now he goes cross ice to bear let's get in the net here all right Buchnevich is in the zone but it will be kicked back to ferraro let's go nice breakout just like that we are back to five on five gabriel landis cog stripping five six of the puck at the blue line their defense steps up he lets one go what a legendary play he's out here hustling he wants to win and i don't blame him oh that would have been outstanding. I don't believe I've ever seen anybody hustle as hard as I have just seen Gabriel Landeskog hustle. I don't think there's really anything I could have done there. I made the initial save. 4-9 <laughs> just dropped this guy. But I made the initial save and, you know, the rebound was instantaneous. No one had him. He was just chilling. Definitely looking like Coach is going to be upset with me. But also... Don't care. So, we got that going for us. Ooh, nice try. Through a crowd. Glove save. Throw it out. What are you doing? What's going on? Can anybody put in a quarter of the effort that Landis Cog was putting in? And we'll be mint. You know? That's not too much to ask for, I don't think. My current plan is to finish this year, however it may go. And then our contract should finally be up. I will sign in the East. If not, I will request a trade to the East. And then that will likely be it. You know, I'm not saying that definitively just yet. Because like I said, next time I definitively say we're done, we are done. And... Not good. Just not good. I think I'm going to start a player be a pro. Because it was sort of that or franchise mode. And I'm just not that good at franchise mode. And people get upset about it, so... Probably gonna do a player, be a pro. I could be missing one here. I kind of did one, but that doesn't really count. Because that's when I was Twitch streaming for a hot minute. But I think my actual last player, be a pro series was years ago. No way! I made a save. Didn't know that could happen. Nice. Just coughing it up. Right in front of the net, the pass goes as well. This is certainly not the way we anticipated our playoff debut in Colorado would go. But, it is the way it went. That almost found its way in as well. There's a little skip and a hop in front of the net. 
and TJ was stuck in his flashing the leather animation. So I couldn't really do much there either. But luckily, just managed to be in the right spot to prevent it from going in. Bjorklin has also been on one. Let's go, Afenisenkov. Bring it on. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that was a big hit. They are just beating us up in every single category. Goals, hits, you name it. St. Louis, domination currently. We really have to bounce back next game, otherwise... Like, what's going on? Alright, thank you. At least we got one. Yeah, I really don't want to lose both games at home. So, this next game, pretty critical. Don't you dare get a whistle. He got a whistle. We got booed off the ice. Honestly, I don't blame the fans at all. That was a tragedy. We're out here doing a Shakespeare play. I'm gonna have to have another meeting. I thought this was the one about not winning the first two games, but no. We have a storyline here. And I don't even care which one I pick because none of this is relevant to me anymore. Although it's not, this game is in fact huge. Because this will only be a 2-0 series if we lose it. But losing both games at home and being down 2-0, not ideal at all. Especially when you're the third seed team Going up against 17 over here. So let's go ahead, start the simulation, and hope that we have a decent scenario for the third period. 1-1. One, one. That's okay. We take that. It was tied last game as well. We do seem to be out shooting them consistently. So clearly, Bjorklund is just an animal. Second period. Nice. Love it. I'm going to try to not be such a liability this time around. Promises? Nope. Don't like making promises. As is evident... ...throughout the season. Nice try. Alright, these guys are flying though. I don't like it. It is scary. And considering they scored about 37 goals in the third period last game... ...really gotta clean my act up. Uh-oh. Fenisenkov has it in the slot. Little game of Plinko there. But it found its way to the corner. And thankfully, not to the back of the net. Sergachev goes, lets one sing, and it just meets Ferraro's twig. Love it. Now in the neutral zone. Great pass to Landeskog, who gains the zone. Oh, yeah? Just goes right by the defender. What a pass in the middle. And a great save by the St. Louis Blues netminder. Oh, no. We just let them walk right in. Blocker to side. Pavel battling behind the net. Wow. That's a battle if I've ever seen one. Breakaway. 2 on 0 Cup. Let's go! What a goal! Little backhand, forehand action. This guy's played Hockey Ultimate Team. Definitely. Part of me would want to get into Hockey Ultimate Team, but I don't think I'd want to play online. I don't know why. That shot was going nowhere near the net. But a glove save nonetheless. To pad the stats. What is the ref doing? The insurance marker goal was huge. And now we have the puck out of our zone again. Cop with it. The lone goal scorer so far in this third period. That hit looked like it was going to be way worse than it was. Or Barbashev just practicing for some acting roles out here. They're back on the attack. Let's go, Walker. Made it look easy. Nemesikov, who I believe scored a goal in this game, loses it in the neutral zone. And now the Blues are back. And they are hungry for one. I thought that was going in. It literally looked like it was in the net. So, very glad that it wasn't. Turbo has it on the wing. In the middle to Rory. Who gets knocked off the puck. Great back check by the Blues. Wow, you know what? Even though we are winning this game, I feel like I can just confidently say that the Blues clearly want this more than we do. Oh no. Don't you dare. Just missing the net right there in the slot. Could have been a three-goal game. Turbo backdoor and another save. Man, this guy is on one. He did let in a goal. So, you know, floodgates a little bit open. Or at least <laughs> at least we know it's possible to score. Yeah, having himself a series. New hook goes in the middle to Landy. That will be saved as well. But you know what? We're doing a good job of keeping the puck in their zone currently. We are approaching the two minute warning and we still have a two goal lead. Hopefully we can keep it. I'm gonna try, let's go. It's already a two goal game. Ah, no I'm not, no I am not gonna do that. Pass it up, woo! That's like a breakaway pass. 
Put me in on defense, coach. Bear drops it off. That will be turned aside. So far, so good in this third period, but St. Louis not going to let me go down easily with no goals. Empty netter for New Hook, and that is all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, a much needed bounce back win. And just like that, we are headed to St. Louis with a best of five. That will be saved, and I will pass it aside because I never learn my lessons. New hook. Just get it out of the zone. I want to have a goalless third period here. Turbo almost got dropped. New hook. Killing some time here. I like it. What a legend. And he makes that behind the back pass. Are you kidding me? No, not like this. I don't know. I thought they scored again. But they didn't. Massive win. Let's proceed. They had 24 shots. That's a decent amount. Another conversation with the coach. Is this where he's going to rip me for not getting the two dubs? Probably. That's not what I expected. Well, you know what? I don't care what you expected, Mr. Durrett. Why don't you go back to manufacturing razors? What comes around is all around, buddy. Don't worry, you'll get yours. I wouldn't say this game is as important as the last game, but still critical, as most playoff games are. But, you know, it is a 1-1 series right now. We're headed on the road for the first time in this playoff run. It would be nice to take the first game in their barn and also give us the lead in the best of five. Will the simulation engine treat us nicely? Let's find out. There's always a tie after the first period. It's really weird. Second period, tied after that as well. All right, we got a game on our hands. The Dmitry Fenisenkov guy they have on their team must have been a first overall pick because Manz is 90 overall and absolutely loaded with abilities. Don't even try it. Um, did I see that right? Because I'm pretty sure that he somehow put the puck behind the net there. You know, got puck steep, classic interview move without any hands. I'm going to have to see the replay on that. Oh, never mind. His stick just disappeared into the boards, as you do. And, yep, sent it in. Incredible stuff. Look at his arm. <laughs> that is amazing. I don't know if you've ever seen that meme of the WWE ref. Where his arm morphs like that and then he goes into the thumbs up. But that is pretty much what this reminds me of. What is even going on? What is even that? That was intimidating. Able to walk right in. But I don't know what he tried to do. Was not successful. Let's go Milano. Sonny with a chance of meatballs. Goes for a toe drizzy. And that will be rejected. Yeah, yeah. Got it. I'm going around that way. Thank you, Hartman. I also just got him dropped. I'm sorry. That was on me. I will try to be better in the future. They are getting a power play as well. What an unfortunate series of events. Nothing will ever be as unfortunate, though, as passing the puck out and losing a Stanley Cup Finals Game 7 because of that. Everything else will fall short. What am I doing? I knew my positioning was awful there, and I did nothing about it. I just got to be better. And we're giving them another power play. Guys, knock it off. All right, let's kill this one, and then we'll turn up the Jets. That could have been a goal. He shot that in the upper echelon of the net. Probably would have scored, but thankfully kept it along the ice. Another save up close and personal on Afenisenkov, the ability boy. Guess he didn't have an ability for that. Okay, Sergachev. Once again, my positioning just wasn't great there. I don't know why, but I just feel like I'm always in the wrong spot today. Nice shot. The rebound is a no-go. All right, I do like the pressure we're putting up right now, though. Maybe, just maybe, we stand a chance still. That's a big hit on a star player. And that's a big save that I don't know if I would have made that had the hit not occurred. I'm just saying. I feel like it kind of fired me up. And here we go. Gotta 
Get this out of our zone. We got to get on the attack here. Barbashev with a tip shot. There we go. It's out of the zone. Now we got Sonny Milano in over the line. Nice. He actually managed to get it back. What a shot. Will not find its way into the net. We do still have six minutes. So we're kind of chilling. But also, that's going to run out real quick. In the middle. Nice. Playing some baseball. Four minutes remain. We're still down by one. If we lose this game, then obviously we're winning the next one to satisfy the pattern. DeBrusque walking out. Ooh, he almost had one on the far side there. But it will be kicked away with the right mini wheat. And now we are down to the final minute of play with a one goal deficit. Walker, you have it. Oh, he was able to walk in, but he took a shot and the glove couldn't catch it. Sent it over to the side. Hartman, okay. Why can we not hit the net? That's my question of the day. Face off in the blue zone, 24 seconds remaining. I like it. Ooh, good try. He passes it out. The ball's on this guy. Unbelievable. We managed to take it back in the neutral zone, though. Newhook is trapped. Doesn't know what to do, and he loses it to Wallstrom. We might have one final chance here, but it's not looking good. Five seconds remaining. In the middle, Landy! No! That's it. That's all she wrote for this one. And we are down two to one against the St. Louis Blues. Okay, what is that? We had 12 shots the entire game? I'm gonna need you guys to smarten up. That is unacceptable. Yep, we are kind of in one here. Down two to one in the series. But that is certainly not any indication that we are out. How are the lads doing so far? Newhook, point a game. He's a dash one, but that's all right. His shooting percentage is also 40. That is crazy. Landeskog has two points. Same with Hartman, Turbo, and O'Reilly. Yeah, it's just not great all around right now. We could all improve. And thankfully, we still have the time to do so. All right, well, there you have it. We are currently trailing the Blues. But you know what? I still believe in the lads. I think we can fight back from this one. I think this series is far from over. Thank you so much for watching. Stats show that now we're up to 400% of you watching this are not subscribed. So... Let's, um, maybe if you want to subscribe, that'd be cool. And I will see you soon.